The straightest path in our universe is usually curved. If you want proof, you could check any long haul flight path or watch light bend around a star. Our journey begins with what we think is a straight line. In general relativity, space time isn't a static stage, it's a dynamic fabric that bends under the weight of mass and energy. Put a heavy object like a star onto this fabric and it creates a dent, warping the path of nearby objects. What we perceive as a straight line is really just objects following the curvature of space-time. Light itself isn't being bent. Gravity bends the space through which light travels. Imagine drawing a straight line on a sheet of paper and then bending the paper. The line only appears curved because its canvas deformed. Similarly, light always moves in a straight path locally. But if space-time is curved, its path appears bent to an outside observer. Under Newton's old school physics, gravity was just masses pulling on each other. In that world, light being massless would ignore gravity entirely and zip along perfect straight lines forever. But as it turns out, that Newton guy wasn't completely right. Gravity isn't a force in the traditional sense. It's the effect of mass reshaping the very arena in which everything moves. The panel suggests fixing curved spacetime by adding equal and opposite gravity. But tossing another planet into the mix doesn't cancel out spacetime bending. It deepens the dent, like adding a second bowling ball to a trampoline. Someone sent me a message saying we could light two identical lasers in front of each other. This way the photons will supposedly collide, lose their momentum and succumb to gravity in a vertical fashion. But that doesn't really work, because photons simply don't interact with each other. Each photon will simply go on its own path not caring about the other photons. And now to the part you all have been waiting for. Take out any world map with flight routes. Notice how long distance paths appear curved. Here's the truth. Those aren't really curves. They're actually the straight greatest possible paths on our spherical earth, what mathematicians call great circles. When the path looks curved on a flat map, that's just the map lying to you. In reality, that arc is Earth's version of a straight line. Similarly, light's path bends not because it wants to, but because space-time itself is curved. It's just taking the cosmic equivalent of the most direct flight route, even if that means following what looks to us like a curve.